Hello friends. Today is, is uh, I'm going to talk about deploy application Chrome to computers using PowerShell. And uh, you just change the application like I'm doing Chrome. You can change Firefox or anything else you want. So I'm using Microsoft Hands-On Lab. Uh, you just have to download a couple things. Chrome, MSI if you want whichever application you have one icon for chrome and uh, you can download this script from youtube link so let's start one two three okay here it comes i already download these three things that's what you need so here we start this is our lab as i told you that this is Microsoft Hands-On Lab. You got to search for Lab OS 00203. And here we have, and then you go here, uh, connect via PowerShell IRC, which I already opened. Here it is. So let's start this one. Okay, it's running. So let's open my PowerShell script. You gotta do a couple things. Um, I download up here under sources, C drive. Okay, here it is. Sources. That's where I download all the files. So first, I gonna I forgot one thing. <laughs> so this is the folder source. I'm making it sharing with the specific people. Uh, I don't suggest you do it everyone, but uh, this is just the Microsoft Hands-On Lab. You can give permission whoever you want. I'm giving to everyone here add okay so this is done it's shareable so let me open my script c drive where i open under sources google.ps1 so i will explain you a little bit about what it is this script is pretty simple so I just create couple variables Google Chrome publisher version location where I have my MSI file that I download under sources folder and uh, collection name all systems description is uh, what we're doing it icon this is my PNG file let me see this location is not correct so you cannot do is C sources uh, let me see a couple things icon is this one okay C sources chrom chrome.png okay and I'm gonna copy this location Okay, chrome.png. Uh, let me paste it here. Mm, no, 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 no. Here it is. Let me first delete and now I paste it. Okay. So I just want to check one more thing before I run this script and I explain to you. So this is the share UMC path scon dot cm01 dash sources. Okay. Yes. And then I have chrome.msi file 
I just copy this look and I'm gonna paste it here. Uh, okay, Chrome dot. Okay, delete. So, I will explain to you a little bit about what's going on. I don't know how to make this picture smaller. <laughs> I'm learning. New. Learning every day. Learning every day. So, uh, first I told you these are the couple variables that I declared. So in the future, you just have to change. <clears throat> this is I'm doing for Chrome.msi. So you have another application, just change it to any other application. Change the picture, icon, photo, what you have. And this is the same thing, msi.exe, you can keep it. This is Chrome.msi, yeah. And this is uninstall command. And now there are four steps on this one. So the first one is, Actually, it's second, because that's how I numbered that. First is declaring variable, but after that, so what I'm doing is I just tell you under here, under applications, software library, applications, all I want to deploy applications. So these are the things which we have installed. But you have, I can do it from here also, like application, create application, and then deploy it to the distribution center, and then, sorry, send it to DP, and then, then send it to wherever you want, collections. So there are a couple steps here, but I want to install, do everything using PowerShell. You will see Chrome comes here in a minute. Okay, let's go back. So I'm not using from here, I'm using it PowerShell. So the first step, which is second, whatever. So new CM application, what's the name? App name, which is this one, Google Chrome, create application, Oh uh, yes, okay. Description, dollar description, software version, publisher, publisher, auto install to <clears throat> file location and verbose. The second step is deploy type, add deployment type to the application. Add CM, configuration manager, CMM, deployment type, application is getting from app name which is my app name is uh, wow here it is app name google chrome so which is content location which i stored dollar location that's a variable has location information installation behavior type that's it couple things uninstall third one distribute to the dp i'm doing four steps you can do one by one run the first step second step third step but i'm doing it one time now distribute the app to the dp so this is another application start cm content distribution application name name the distribution name our distribution point name which is stored up somewhere, DP. That's the name of your DP. Okay, so, and the last step is a uh, app deployment to the target collection. New CM application deployment, collection name, collection name, name, whichever is the app name is the collection name variable which it is getting from collection name i use it here all systems uh, like here 
so I'll go through that again in a minute so you can uh, once it's there deployment type distribute content to the collections kind of things deploy so all these steps I'm doing in a uh, PowerShell so the last step was deploy to the target collection that is done so don't get confused with this script this is pretty simple you can just download it's available online also just google it from trusted information from if you trust that okay so let's see what happens saved yes so now it's installing application which is success it's still running so if there's any problem I should get it some kind of red it's nothing red all good that's good real good one two three hmm. so let's go back to my CM configuration manager I should have under let me go back to applications here comes Chrome Google Chrome okay uh, let me see if it's Google Chrome Google Chrome Google Chrome okay I don't know how to remove this picture I'm just <laughs> uh, I'm sorry so so Google Chrome is here and uh, deployment type Stereo status to all systems okay summary deployment types okay uh, picture is giving me trouble here I don't know how to remove it so just uh, so this one is done so Chrome is already installed I will verify by going to all different systems if it's successfully installed or not. So, just want to check one more thing. This one. Okay. It's almost done, 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 done. So, yeah, all systems. Okay, let's go back to my another system if it's installed or not. So, I'm checking it right now. software center mm -hmm. let me try on my this machine I'm getting there 
So once application is already installed, so all I'm doing is just to verify if it's there or not. Okay. Software center. You can update the policy also if it doesn't show up in uh, configuration manager. If it doesn't show up in software center, you just go to configuration manager and uh, actions machine policy run now. Okay, let's go back. Uh, doesn't come up yet. So let's try this one, check. Yeah, here comes new software is available. Here comes Google Chrome application comes here. So we just deploy Google Chrome. That's the icon I make. You can just deploy it. And uh, thanks for watching. So this is just uh, one application. So in future, it's going to save you a lot of time. So on this script, you just have to change the whichever application you want to deploy. Couple things, modify it. DP going to be same or it's going to be different, whichever you have. So, so because we're storing everything under variables. Just have to modify one thing, different application, and then deploy. So save it as a template to deploy different applications. Thanks for watching. And uh, everybody, enjoy. Have fun. Enjoy your life. Thanks.